Google Analytics. There's some big problems with it, including it's way too complicated and uses third-party tracking so it doesn't report all your data. Luckily, there's a solution called Analytics WP that we're going to check out today. It uses only first-person tracking, meaning people who are actually on your website are being monitored by the website's code, in this case, Analytics WP, not third parties doing the monitoring. So all the data stays with you, so privacy is intact, GDPR compliant, all that legal stuff is good. And it's super simple to use, and the data is really easy to understand, and it's powerful. So your clients are going to love it too. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the whole thing. Hi, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Now let's get started. Let's see. Any useful information in here? Google Analytics should show me everything. What on earth is all this? This is GA4. Should be easy to find some good stuff in here, right? Acquisition. I guess that means I'm acquiring visitors somehow or it tells me where they're from. That'd be great. Where are they from? What's that big spike about? Organic search, direct. But what are they doing on the website? Where do I find that? Events? Some events here. Page views and such. Ad impressions? I don't know. For most people, Google Analytics feels like that. It's just a dumping ground for so much data that is really useful when you know what you're doing, but it's just not that useful when you don't know what you're doing. That's why I want to bring Analytics WP to your attention because it's super easy to use. This is their website right here. And it's not free, but there's a lifetime deal. So you only pay one time, you get it forever. You can even have it for as many websites as you want, depending on which lifetime deal you choose. We'll get to that later. But the point is, it can replace Google Analytics for your clients so they can easily see what's happening on their website right inside the WordPress dashboard. But then you can still have Google Analytics running on the site as well. So you can do ad tracking and event tracking and A-B split testing, everything like that. So you can have both running on the same website. But you'll see in this video that if you have only Analytics WP running, that's also super powerful, especially for your clients and keeping them happy seeing data of what's going on on their website. Once you purchase Analytics WP, you'll go to login or you'll be logged in immediately and you go to downloads, click on any of these buttons to download it. It'll be a zip file. Then you'll go to a website you want to install it on. You'll go to plugins and then add plugin, click on upload plugin and then choose the zip file right here. Click on install now and then activate it and then you're done. And then the next screen you're going to see is this one right here. There's nothing you need to set up. Analytics WP is ready to go. And that's how easy it is to install. It starts collecting data immediately. And if you have certain integrations set up like WooCommerce, it automatically activates the integration component and automatically starts tracking WooCommerce sales and everything as well. And we have this new section on the left. Analytics WP, and we're going to go through each of these menu items starting with the dashboard. If we click on that, it takes you to the dashboard, which shows data. This is what would be really useful for your clients. So this is one of my small sites. Still got some traffic, still some nice data to look at. For clients, it's great because they don't need to worry about Google Analytics and how complicated it is. So we can choose a time frame, last seven days, last 30, all time custom. I've only had this running for about a week and a half on this website. And so this is kind of the data we have. We see there's 42 unique people that have visited the site, 48 page views in total. So we're not clicking through very much. 1.14 page views per person. You want to get that up as high as you can, preferably two or higher per person. And the window shoppers rate is probably something you never heard of. This is how many people view just one page and never came back. If they viewed a page today and came back a week from now, they would not be counted as a window shopper because they came back. So this is like true bounce rate. Saw a page, never came back. And you'll see in a little bit under the journeys tab here, Analytics WP tracks all your visitors every time they come and merges all that into one display. So it shows you everything they've done, including if they purchased something, including if they signed up for something, super useful. So here we can see the refers. This website's been sandboxed by Google for some reason. Not entirely sure, but this happened very recently. So there's that. Uh, the popular pages are listed here. The device breakdown is over here. Surprisingly, desktop is number one for this website. Mobile is number two. Usually mobile is number one, or at least closer to 50-50. If you click on this icon down here in any one of these, you get a larger view. So you can see the full URLs. And this would be a spot where your clients go just to see what's going on with the traffic and they'd be super happy with that. 
No need to go over to Google, just do it all right inside their dashboard, not confusing, super easy to read. If we go over here to live events, this is like real-time Google data. So if there's someone on the site right now, they would show as a live event. If I visit the site incognito, I might see some data here. Let's see what kind of data we have. There we go. Shows me on there, shows what page I'm on, shows that I'm anonymous. If this was a website where users could create accounts and they'll log in to maybe view membership material, even if it's a free membership, if they sign in, they would show here as the person who they're signed in as. So that's pretty useful. So that's the live events. We'll get to integrations in a minute. First, we're gonna check out journeys. This is all the people who have visited the website in the past 30 days and what they've done. So in total, there have been 60 people. None have been identified. 60 are anonymous and total of 68 events. So most of these are gonna have one event count like this one here and this one. But some of these, like this one, it's gonna have more than one. This one has four. If I click on that, we see the four events that that person undertook. So the Brave search engine it was what brought them to this website, or sorry, this page right here on a mobile device. They were on this page for 10 minutes. And then they went to, no, next day or next time. So this was 522 and then at 532 through the Brave search engine again, they came back to the site and they're on that same page for four hours. And then a couple hours later, they're on that same page for two hours. Clearly they like this page and they came back to this page again later on. And that is quite a useful page. I've used that process myself to get bubbles out of our RV roof. So that's pretty handy stuff. And they spent a lot of time there reading through what I wrote and probably doing that same process on their RV. So this is a journey. And this person only had page views. If we had WooCommerce installed and they purchased something, it would show when they converted and which pages led to that conversion. If we had a newsletter installed, you could see when they opted in and what lit pages led to them opting in. And that's where the integrations tab comes in. The integrations currently are WooCommerce, Easy Digital Downloads, Surecart, Elementor, Bricks Builder, Divi, Beaver Builder, a bunch of form plugins. And these form plugins, of course, have opt-in options for some of them. So you can connect them to MailChimp, for example, and you can see when all that's happening inside the journeys. Back to the journeys overview, all of these are gray and anonymous. If anybody here had been able to sign into the site, which is not an option on this website, but if they'd created an account and then logged into it and then viewed some pages, those would show up as blue instead of gray or kind of this brownie color. So identify just means that we have some information about that person. The account they created, they could have used completely fake information, fake name, fake email, fake everything, but they are logged in and we kind of know something about them. That's what identified means. And they made a purchase as you probably guessed, means they bought something. So either through the WooCommerce integration or easy digital downloads, or I think Shortcart was the, the last integration for purchases, it would show here purchases made and overall conversion rate from these journeys. And what's super handy, just like we could see on this journey right here, what this person had done over time, you can see what they've done to lead to purchases and opt-ins and sending you contact form submissions. And having one journey that converted isn't super helpful. But if you find that people are taking similar or the same path every time to convert, that's valuable information. You try to get more people into that path. If you have a specific blog post that converts higher than any others, promote it on your homepage. Send it out to your newsletter. Post on social media. Maybe try testing, sending some paid traffic to it. Without this data at your fingertips, you wouldn't know whether or not you should do that. And setting this up in Google Analytics is a bit of a headache. It can be done and it's powerful, but it's a headache. With Analytics WP, literally all I did was install the plugin and it just started collecting this data for me. Super simple. There of course is a license tab where you add your license key and that's all you do on that tab. There's a for agencies tab. This is a special upgrade for the pricing. In fact, let's check that out right now, if we can get back to it. Homepage, go to pricing. So a one site license is $99 for once, and $199 gives you unlimited websites, including agency mode. And agency mode means that you can install Analytics WP on one website, yours, your agency's, and you can connect that to all of your client sites. So you can see all of their data in one website 
in one dashboard that looks just like this dashboard, but it's all in one spot. Super, super convenient for agencies. And not to mention what I mentioned already, which is it's great for clients. Clients love to see their analytics data. And as an agency owner, you might also want to send reports to your clients. Luckily, you can send white labeled reports really easily on a weekly or monthly basis. Makes your job a whole lot easier. There's a couple settings, not very many. You can disable tracking for various user roles if you want to. Keep in mind that when WooCommerce is installed and you make sales and people are creating accounts, they sign up as a user role, often a customer or a client through WooCommerce or a subscriber if they're joining your mailing list. So you definitely want to put some thought into which roles you're disabling, if any. You can choose which user roles to give access to the NLXWP admin pages. I would choose just administrator. You can add a how did you hear about us question to the checkout page if you have WooCommerce installed. And here are the options for adding that question. And what that gives you is more data. And that goes right into those clean analytics WP reports that we saw with the user journey. Just shows their answer right there. Nice and clean, super simple. All you have to do to get that working is check a box or click a radio button in this case. Super easy. This option here, enable WooCommerce email order notification source section. It's a mouthful, but if you have that box checked, it will show in the order notification email that the admins receive where the order came from. I don't have an example from my website for this, but if we go to nlxwp.com to the homepage, click on play right here, and then fast forward to eight minutes and four seconds, you'll see a WooCommerce order notification. And at the bottom of this email, there is an analytics WP section that shows you the details on what led to that purchase, including the landing page, the source, in this case, Facebook ads, and a button to view the journey. And you can go and see the full journey inside the website. And that's really all you need to know for analytics WP. The next step is trying it out. There's a free seven day trial, no credit card required, no BS. Try it out for seven days, collect some data, see how easy it is and question whether you want to keep Google Analytics as your main go-to or whatever else you have, because the pricing here is one time. One time and you keep it forever. $99 for one site, $199 for all websites, including agency mode. So click the link in the description down below and check out Analytics WP. And if you got value from this video, make sure you click subscribe, ring the bell to let me know. And then click on the video you see on your screen right now. That video is going to help you speed up your websites to make them as fast as possible because the faster your site is, the better it's going to rank in Google, the better the user experience is going to be, and it's just better for everybody. So make your websites fast. Watch that video. I'll see you over there.